you can title it first time review. Going up. I never did either. Um, okay, it's a. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are we doing tonight? We're, We're doing, doing good. How are you? My name's Sebastian. I'm going to be Haley's back server tonight. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about the meals, please feel free to remind me or ask me in advance. Tonight's going to be a Tomahawk Tuesday, so it's going to be $100 off of our Tomahawks, which really includes a side of mashed potatoes. Um, but other than that, can I actually start with any waters? I have uh, let me ask a question. So the Tomahawk, is that enough for two of us? Oh, for sure. It's okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so we're probably going to do that. I don't know what else, but um, can I get a Cosmopolitan? with extra lime juice. Okay, I will let Haley know. Uh, what about waters? I have sparkling, flat, and half water. Sparkling. Sparkling is good, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I'll be right back. Yeah. I just wanted to check, uh, is there a preference on the vodka? You have Tito's. We do have Tito's. Tito's. Um, yeah. I'll do a double on that, um, with, but I need the lime juice, like a little extra side of extra lime juice. Shot glasses. Yeah. Gotcha. Do you yeah. want me to have him incorporate the lime juice? Right he can put a little, uh, right, and gotcha. a glass like that would be great, or a regular glass. I don't like the martini glass. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can I take you, sir? Uh, yeah. yeah. So one thing I'd recommend with the tomahawk, our Dow body part blend is really good. It's very jammy. It goes really nice with the tomahawk. It kind of cuts that fatty flavor out, but still complementing the flavor profile of the steak or um, our brunch strong cabernet. Favorite and it goes really good with the okay. Yeah, so the place setting is nice. It's hammered silver. Mm -hmm. That's the, the sparkling water is Pellegrino, which is a nice Italian sparkling water. And the satin napkin is a nice touch with the hammered fork and knife. Nice place, Sunny. And let's see the bread. Okay. So we have, um, and it's warm. That's a good sign. <laughs> when bread is warm, it's a good sign. And it's kind of spongy, which I'm kind of looking forward to eating this bread. I don't know what kind of butter this is. Um, looks like a, I don't know. Nobody told us. We'll have to taste it and find out. See, that's where they get too fancy. Meaning, I know what I'm talking about. Um, when you have a good piece of bread, which I think is a good piece of bread, um, you don't need hopped up butter. Regular butter. I don't know what this is even. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, the taste is, I don't know. I'm going to ask. You're tasting it. What do you think about it? Uh, I think I put too much butter on my bread. But do you have a, a handle? Um, 
on the um on the flavor of this butter. I don't I don't. There's no flavor. It's not? I don't feel flavor. I feel like there's sweetness. A tad sweet, yeah. It's a tad sweet when you bite into it and you wait a bit and get a sweet note. And so I'm not saying it's bad. I just like to know the bread is the bread I okay, one to ten scale on the bread. I'm gonna give the bread a eight. This particular piece of bread is an eight. Um it's leaning more towards a nine. It's leaning more towards a nine. It's really good bread. Um, I'm going to try, there's other, there's one other kind of bread. I'm going to try that just to give you guys an idea. It's a soft roll. We have two of them. No. That's fine. And I just, when you get a chance, I just need a little, more, little ice. A little ice? Yeah. Of course. I'm just going to pour this for you, and I will be right back with that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And how are you two doing on the food menu? Did you have any questions for me at all? Um, I don't think so. I think I know what we're going to get. We're going to do the asparagus side as well. Along and the mashed truffle. potatoes. Because I would get the cream spinach, but they put truffle in it. So. We can always do it um, without the truffle. Oh, well. really? Like, yeah. Oh, Okay. Um, you like cream spinach? Right. It does come with a poached egg as well on top. It's really nice if people incorporate it into the spinach and give it more creamy. But you're more than welcome to exclude that. Yeah, as well. if they can exclude the truffle and just do whatever they do, yeah, that's fine. That would be great. Alrighty, and then for the temperature on the tomahawk, did you want it a medium, medium rare? How do you like it? That's why I like it. Yeah, medium, medium rare. rare. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> And then also the side of cream spinach with Thank you. Did you want me to leave one menu for you for the drinks? Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, she, her freckles are gorgeous. Yeah. And freckles could be nice on some people. They, they suit her well. Freckles are not a detriment, I don't think. I think they're added just like redheads. Yeah. Oh, that's a redhead. Yeah, some redheads are beautiful. My grandmother had freckles. She was a Russian from Odessa, Russia. I believe that's on the coast somewhere in Russia. I want to go there. They're telling me, you can't go to Russia now. It's too dangerous. Eventually, not eventually, but <laughs> fairly soon, I want to make that one of my trips. Um, but yes, we're going to do the... Okay, so the Cosmo came. And I told her not to put in a food food glass, just a regular glass, and glass is perfect. Um, the drink takes really good. She gave me a little side of lime juice. And I'm gonna taste this bread. It's a different bread. It's like a like almost a bun. Okay. That's good as well. Um, it's sweet. It's definitely sweet. Um, it's like a an after dinner roll. It's very, very, very sweet. So, um, I'm not saying I don't like it. I do. It's very good. I would give it. I know it's going to be sweet. I'm going to give it a. Um, can I ask you a question before I forget again? Of course, of course. What is this flavor with? So it is a honey and a little bit of chipotle. Okay. A little sweet and a disappointment. Okay, we're trying to figure it out. Okay, thank yeah, you. Kind of like a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> I have Sebastian coming by with the ice, but I do want to apologize that the kitchen said they weren't able to do um, spinach without truffle this evening. Okay. Fine. Did you want to do anything else? Um, you want to go with the asparagus again, or what about a salad? Whatever you like. What what's a salad? Uh, I don't know. I didn't look. We have a couple different types. Uh, my personal favorite, we have. Thank you so much. 
We have one that's called a seasonal gravy salad. It's nothing too crazy, but it does come with a really good creamy balsamic sauce. It's a mixed greens. So it's going to be like the base of that salad. Though. I'd rather do a salad than asparagus. Was that okay? Or a Spanish Caesar. I didn't see Spanish that. Spanish Caesar is really good. It's, it's a really unique twist on it. It has a prosciutto. You get the anchovy. Do we have to have the, the ham on it? No, you don't. Okay. Oh, you know what? Can you give... Can you just put the ham on the side, and then I'll just... We're going to split the salad. Gotcha. And if you give him the ham on the side, yeah. my ham. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I will make sure to do that. Okay. Thank she, you so she much. She doesn't eat pork. Oh, gotcha. And I'm weird. Do you want me to leave the menu for you? Yeah, we'll leave it. Okay, All thank right, you. You're welcome. And then ice will be all right. Out of okay. Well. Thank you. Oh. It is a honey and chipotle butter. Thank you. It's a honey and chipotle butter is what, what's on it. And it's actually very good. Um, it's sweet. It's not extremely sweet. It goes well with the basic bread. And it goes really well with this sweet roll. This roll, roll is sweet. It's good. I think the bread selection, okay, I'm going to rate it overall. From the bread I tried, the muffin, I rate it. I'm going to give it a eight point eight. Hey, that's good. That's a good, that's a good rating. No, I thought it was look. Can you give it a flat nine? No. <laughs> No, it's not there yet. I'm sorry. You know what? Um, I I made salmon pancakes the other day, okay? And I haven't made them in a long time. And I tasted them, and I said, mm. oh, they're not good. And I sat down, and I ate one. And I gave somebody one, and they go, um, and I gave him shrimp, too. And he goes, oh, no, the salmon pancakes are fantastic. I said, what are you talking about? I was criticizing myself and the way I made them. Because to me, I haven't made them a long time and I just got, did it helter skelter, but he loved them. And then I brought it to a co-worker of mine who likes my cooking. And I said, damn pancakes aren't that good, but I'm gonna, I brought, she didn't have her lunch. I said, I have two. I'll give you one. I have some salad. So I split my lunch with her. And she goes, oh, no, these are fantastic. And I'm going, let me taste these things again. And you know what I did? And they were good. They were good. Um, so I'm, cut, I'm, I'm demeaning myself. I'm cutting myself down. And I shouldn't do that because a lot of the stuff I cook is good. And I was told by two people these things are fantastic. When I tasted them, they were they're crispy on the outside. They were soft on the inside, had a lot of flavor. You know what? I'm going to do a Trader Joe's haul. When I do, I think you should go with me because I want to unravel all the stuff that I bought and I'm going to start doing some cooking because I'm, I'm going to also eat out because I want to do reviews on this. But I also want to cook. I want to, you know, to be health healthy, I want to cook a little bit of stuff. But that's what we're going to do. So the view is awesome. Outside, we're looking at um, shit. We're looking at uh, the Sahara. I want to go into the Sahara. I haven't been in there in years, and it's. I guess, of course, it's rehab by now. Uh, the Westgate we see in a distance. I want to go in there too. I want to stay at Resort World and do a whole conglomeration. That's that's what I want to do. A staycay at Resort World. We have cheese and pepper bread i think it's the same roll that we had that was sweet but they infused cheese and pepper it's really good really good i'm going to actually take a little bit of the butter on there and this butter is infused with honey and no oh, this uh chipotle i got chipotle oh i thought it was cooked at, at the table That's what it said on the website. Oh, unfortunately, no, we don't do any cooking on this table. We do offer something called a rosini flambe. You can get that um, in addition to Well, they shouldn't put that on the website then. I was looking forward to that. I'm so sorry about that. I had no idea. I'll let my manager know for sure. Yeah. And then 
<laughs> it says served at table side. Like they were going to cook it at the table side. I'm going to go have my manager look at that. I'm so sorry about that. On the that. website. Okay. okay. And then I have hot plates coming out your way. We have the Spanish Caesar with the horn on the side. I'm going to put that right here. Here for you on your side of the table. You're welcome. And then I have the hot plates right behind these. Okay, so I looked at, um, I think this restaurant came on my Facebook. Shut up. Or I don't know. I found it not looking for it. And it's a new restaurant, and they have all kinds of specials. I looked at their website, so it looks like a really nice restaurant. I'm not saying it's not. So far, it's great. But um, the tomahawk, as I knew it, was supposed to be served tableside, meaning they cook it at the table. And that did not happen. Um, my same disappointment with the tower in Baton Rouge, it was supposed to be a tower, it was a flat plate. Okay, so my patience... <laughs> It's getting very thin. I'm not going to make a scene. I'm going to just eat it. But I'll tell you what. I'm getting tired of this. Because if you don't want to serve at table side, just say. It's not table side. Don't fucking lie to get people in. But we're going to judge the food now. Okay, so the bread, excellent. It was almost like almost a nine. We're going to leave it at that. And then, okay, so we're going to serve ourselves. And we're going to serve ourselves. The ketchup never did come. I'll, I'll give you some. I will serve you. Here, here we go. Give you two pieces of that. I'll give you a piece of that. Or three. There you go. And I'll give myself. Okay, so we have a Spanish Caesar salad, I believe, right? Why it's Spanish, I don't know. Oh, the ham was taken out. So you got the Spanish side, I know. Okay. You have dressing there? Does she want extra dressing? Is there dressing on here? There is a little bit tossed in it, but I can get you more if you'd like. Probably a little, a little more. I'll be right back. And the ketchup too, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Take some of that. Mashed potatoes are good. Romaine lettuce with Parmesan cheese and a, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Great steak. Do you need anything from me right now? I'll let you enjoy them. No, actually, um, yes, I do use ketchup on my steak. And for people that, how could she do that? Fuck you. That's what I do. <laughs> don't criticize me. I'm going to add a little more dressing. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, got to get something because it has no taste. I'll put it in here. Um, I'm gonna take this, taste the steak again. Uh, the salad. I mean, it's romaine lettuce. <laughs> um, extra dressing makes it better. However, the dressing ain't that good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna taste the steak um, without the ketchup and then with it. I'm tasting the steak now. Um, okay, out of, I don't know. 
One to ten. Ten being the best. Then. This is a nine point nine. Nine point nine. Yeah, it's a nine point nine. You you want a ten? <laughs> you gotta work for it. <laughs> Nobody gets a ten. I have good plate. Yeah, the Napa pot. I gave a ten. Napa or Napa? Yeah. Napa. Napa. Yeah. That was phenomenal. What do you think about it? You tasted it. You give your interpretation. Salad is a uh, mediocre, right? And but the steak is good. What's the salad? Uh, rate it. Salad is like a five. A five? Well, I don't know better than I'm that. Not, I'm not, okay, that's fine. I'm not a salad eater that much. Okay, a five. And? And my kind of salad is, has to have, uh, what do you call it? The sesame dressing. Okay, so you're salad. not a Caesar salad lover. You should have told me. I would have gotten the other salad or asparagus. Oh, whatever you like. All right. Anyway. All right. So the salad's a five. Um, you know, I agree. Um, I Okay. I'm going to rate the salad. I'm going to say it's like a... I'll give it a little higher than that. I'll give it a 6.6. 6. Mm -hmm. It's a basic romaine lettuce with some crumbs or whatever the fuck and dressing. Yeah. Anybody could have done it. So 6.6 6 out of 10. That's a good, good enough. Mashed potatoes... Let me taste it one more time. Durabout, I am. Uh, I'm going to give them an 8.8 out .8 of 10. The mashed potatoes. I think the mashed potatoes are really good. I don't know what they did to them. Um, the flavor is there. It's buttery enough. I like the mashed So it's 8.8. .8. And the other reason was supposed to be cooked table side. That was one of the reasons I wanted to come here, to have a cooked bread at the table. But that didn't happen. When I come back here again, I think I would. The customer service is almost on point. You know, I mean, when somebody is sitting in town, and there's a bread basket still there, a couple of pieces of bread or bread and butter, wouldn't you ask them, are you guys done? Would you like me to remove the bread? Just assumed. Don't assume. All in all, most customer service is very good. I have no complaints. The freckled lady was, you know, above and beyond. She's almost a step for wife. <laughs> she was. She was like this. You ever see the movie The Step for Wives? Did you ever see it? Step for Wife? Go One of your assignments. <laughs> One of your assignments is go and watch. Everybody should. The Stepford Wives. Okay, it's about this whole community of people that live together. Men and women, they have kids, dogs, normal community. Everybody's good. Everybody's cleaning the house. Everybody's taking care of each other. Everybody's great. Well, they're too great because the fucking wives have been mummified. They went in, into their brains and they reconstructed the brains to make them like robots where all they want to do is, Hi, Jim. You came home tonight. Oh, you look so good. I have your dinner ready on the stove. Here it is now. Okay, let me get that. Oh, I got to clean the floor first. They became robots. The men made them robots and the name of the movie is Stepford Wives well certain people are like that and this waitress is like that hey do you do I'm gonna do yeah they're just that's a good thing. they're robotic that's a well good thing. yeah if you want a robot then look at that movie man everybody should have to watch that movie as a as an extra curriculum activity in school that should be mandatory that people watch that movie for a psychological thing. I'm telling you, you watch that movie, you'll never think the same again about people. Step for wives. Everybody watch it. Okay. So the dinner, all in all, was 
tie everything together? Should I do that? The red, everything, tie everything together? I already gave separate reddings. The drink was a, 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 okay, we always do one. You know what? I'm going to do a different scale. I'm going to do like a, a different kind of scale, but right now we're doing one to 10. Okay, so one to 10. My drink is a 9.7. Great, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm Chef Joel. I'm the chef of the restaurant. So nice to meet you. I know we didn't get a chance to do tomahawk for you table side, but I wanted to bring you our chocolate mousse. It's kind of one of our, our signature signature desserts here. Okay. So we're going to make the chocolate mousse for you right here, and then uh, put it on top of the little raspberry mousse cake. That we have Wonderful. Right Great. Thank you so much. So the way that we do the chocolate mousse here is we start with a little whipped cream and a little bit of a meringue. And then this is like a nice dark chocolate ganache. Made with Valrona dark chocolates, one of the best dark chocolates you can get. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it together here to make that, that fresh chocolate mousse. A lot of people don't get to experience the chocolate mousse like this because uh, most of the times in restaurants when you have chocolate mousse, it's, it's usually made and then it's set, sometimes frozen and defrosted. It's kind of a normal thing to do, but when you eat it fresh, it's still like almost a little bit room temperature and the flavor of the chocolate is so much better. So you're going to get that amazing experience. And one thing that we like to do too is uh, we have the option to add a couple of little flavors. So we have a little bit of uh, Gramonier or a little bit of Chambord. You do whatever you think tastes good. Well, I'm going to add a couple of dashes of Gramonier because okay. that's just a really nice touch of that chocolate mousse. It gives it that nice little, uh, nice little kick. So Gramonier has got a little orange flavor in it. Orange and chocolate have this beautiful affinity together. We're going to finish stirring this up. Holding it nicely. Thank you so much. There you are. Thank you. Your food was awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Awesome. And I don't say that lightly. I'm a very, <laughs> very good critique. I'm not a reviewer. I'm a critique. You did, you did have the tomahawk steak tonight. I yes, excellent. Everything. Yes, it was excellent. Well, please enjoy your dessert. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, um, he made up for not doing table side tomahawk. I neglected to ask him why, and I didn't think it was appropriate at the time. But at another time, um, I'll ask him more. Let's let's taste the dessert. Chocolate mousse. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh, this is. It's like a. Okay, it's chocolate notes, of course. And it has little notes and Grammy or Mignor, whatever that. What can I pronounce that? Liqueur. And it's almost like a coffee and a cream. All mixed together with a nest of, I don't know what's under. It's like a, I think it's cherry, let's see. Oh, I don't know. Mmm. It's like raspberry. It's a raspberry. It's like a raspberry preserve mixed with this mousse chocolate cream thing that is heavenly. Oh my god. Wow. This is and the nest, which is a chocolate little nest. Oh my god. This dessert is a work of art. It's a work of fucking art. And it tastes just as heavenly. I mean, this is a um, this is a twenty-five 
out of 10. <laughs> mm. Oh, you know what? If I died tonight, <laughs> I would love this for the be the last thing I could eat. That's how good it is. I, I've never had, you know what? The last dessert I had, which I thought was so superior, was, and I'll tell you a minute, I'll tell you exactly. It was in a place called Yayaka. I think it was Y A Y A C C A. Yaka. It was in uh, Virginia Beach. It was a French restaurant. And I had a peanut butter pie. We could go back in the videos. So the videos are there. I had a frozen peanut butter pie, like an ice cream peanut butter pie. It was like this. That's the last dessert I remember to be as good as this. This is something that I'm, I'm blown away. Cameraman's going to taste it, and I think he's going to feel the same way. It's just like heaven in a spoon. I mean, it's just like you can't get any better taste. You can get different tastes, but you can't get any better taste is what I'm saying. The combination of what he's done, he obviously is a fucking genius. Oh, I got to get with this guy at some point. I mean, to talk to him. Maybe he can do me a back scene. I'll have to call and talk to him another time. Or maybe I should do it now. Should I just call him out here again? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, you got you to subscribe or something. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so if we came back, mm -hmm. could we go back there and actually videotape you? Sure. Okay, great. And we'll order dinner, of okay. course. Um, I don't know if it would be maybe a dinner of your choice from what I eat. Could that be possible? Oh, so, okay. Should I call you prior or has the best? The best way to reach me is, is email. Uh, just because that, that's how I do a lot of my business. I'm, I okay. Mean, I don't answer my phone and stuff like that. All right. So, so email. So okay. Email. We'll, we'll, we'll work something out. Have like, you come back in? Okay. We'll do a little something back in. Awesome. You can come in like maybe like 4.30 or 5 o'clock when you open so there's not Okay. Like, so it's better that time. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much yeah, and good luck so to you. Nice. And your yeah. restaurant yeah. is yeah. awesome. Thank you. Really your food that. is off the charts. Yeah. Really okay. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Good night.